in, in, in that in that light, you sometimes see, right, that because there is an such an um wide access, easy access to information, um, easily available today online, digitally, where people can become experts very quickly or claim to be experts very quickly on social media. There's also the 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 flip to that is an oversimplification of things that may be um very childish as you said um while there's a beauty in being able to simplify right in one way of looking at it where the beauty of many of our rushis and our saints was that they can expound on one single subject as you know as in a long long exposition like say our scriptures like Upanishads and the Gita, and at the same time, they can take the biggest subject and dumb it down to a aphorism like a Yoga Sutra, maybe. That while that is true expertise, today's expertise seems to be in a tweet. You can you can prove that you can show that you are I know what I'm talking about, and yeah. show the whole world that I'm doing this okay. by just a tweet or a post. Um, in that era, in that such an era, do you, what what do you think is the source of that problem? Do you think it's an overthinking of things do you think it's an oversimplification no, no, of things no, it's not oversimplification there's difference between simplifying and reducing being simple is one thing being reductionist is another thing being simple is one thing and lacking perspective missing the bigger picture is just another thing, you know. The, the the room might be very big, but I look at it through a keyhole. And when you look at something through a keyhole, it can very well be condensed in a tweet. 160 characters, 240 characters, because that's a keyhole perspective. You don't anyway know the bigger picture. You don't anyway know anything that would occupy anything more than 250 characters. It's not that you are being precise. 250 characters is the widest expanse of your knowledge, your perspective, your insight. You do not know anything more than the tweet. But Twitter helps because you could say, you know, I know so much. It's just that I'm presenting the very summary of my wide range of ideas. Most people who tweet anyway do not have any wide range of ideas. Had it been a proper blogging platform, not just micro blogging, uh, it would have been it would have become difficult for people because how would you uh, write a ten thousand word essay on something you really have no idea of? So. People are not really being cryptic on Twitter. They are being themselves. Hmm? Little. Little. We are little people and it's littleness that we display on Twitter in 140 characters. The European Renaissance gave us the, the idea of freedom including the freedom of expression which is a beautiful thing in itself except that it is not a complete idea freedom of expression is always secondary to the freedom of mind first of all do you have the freedom of mind to qualify for freedom of expression. Now the mind is rotten. The mind is bigoted. The mind is so narrow. Confused. And angry and violent. And cunning to boot. And what it's been given is the freedom of expression. What will you get? And because the mind is cunning, 
it won't say i am expressing my ignorance it will cunningly say i am expressing my expertise hmm? a doctor is precise is he not you you, you look at the prescriptions laconic just because a specialist is precise that does not mean that everything that is scantily worded denotes expertise the brahma sutras are extremely concise that does not mean that every idiot who can utter only two words becomes a brahmanoar but that's how the world is operating everybody is a wanna be expert the very respect for depth forget about wisdom even deep knowledge has receded so much today's demigods and celebrities are not people with knowledge we in fact do not even know of subject matter experts today celebrities are loud mouths those who bark on everything under the sun or beyond the sun you bring up any topic and you have an entire community of people across the globe who will immediately present themselves as specialists on that topic and they have become the thought leaders of this era they are the ones who are shaping even results of elections governments are rising and falling based on the beck and call of ignorance um oh, it indeed is a dangerous situation the 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 explosive emergence of social media especially over the last 5 6 years may have had its uh, immediate and material benefits but the challenges it has brought in terms of giving a loud and undeserved voice to worthless people is a huge damage we have suffered and somehow the the nature of life is such that the ones who know very little are the ones most eager to express themselves wisdom prefers quietness and silence many a times ignorance is so insecure it wants to shout from the rooftop <laughs> 